Yeah. All right, then. So you mentioned the scoreboard. Yeah, so the scoreboard is, um, is well... When I was talking about that case in Ipswich, that's what the gang would sing about. They'd sing about scoring like number 23. Michael Jordan's number 23, keeps scoring goals in, 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 in basketball. And, he, um, and w when I first heard about the case, I was thinking, why, why are they talking about scoring goals? And what's, what are they talking about? What's that got to do with selling drugs? Anyway, then I read up about this case in um, South London, a guy called Raheem Butt. Have you ever heard of him? Uh, he was shot in... Um, he was from a gang called Moscow 17. And I think they're rivals of Car, something like Zone 2, something like that. Um, uh -huh. And they're quite, they're Moscow 17, quite renowned, nasty gang. Well, whether he was a member or not, and this, that would be disputed, he was certainly in their drill videos. Now, some people will always say, well, you know, that doesn't mean he was selling drugs or anything like that. But what he did do was he sung about the school board. And he said, you know, how are you going to score points again against us? And they would sort of list off the number of people who from the rival gang who they've, li li they've, you know, either slashed or shot or, you know. And so it emerged that there was this scoreboard amongst London gangs. And some of the youth workers told me that it was, it was as blunt as, you know, five points for a stab in the leg, you know, 10 points for a stab in the chest, 50 points for a stab in the neck, and it was a literal scoreboard. And um, this is the gamifying of drag, you know, gang violence, isn't it? This is Call of Duty. Um, the, you know, you've been playing this game in your bedside late at night, um, and now you can play it on the streets with your gang. And um, yeah, that's the scoreboard. And I, I found there were, you know, Parents I spoke to who said that their kids, if their kids had been murdered, that um, the brother had been told, oh, yeah, we got some points for, you know, whatever rival gang. And that seemed to be a thing. And so part of the possible motivation for the murder of Tavis Spencer in Ipswich was, you know, these guys had sung about scoring on the scoreboard and they thought well let's go i mean obviously they've been humiliated in a show in a soap shop but you know were they also is it also part of this kind of let's go and score some points um yeah so and that um it's you know certainly in south london there's been you know some kind of serious um a bit like actually used to be in the day in glasgow where they would literally just meet up for a fight you know, and it would be this kind of well, it's clockwork orange style um, dystopian violence. And police would describe turning up at the scene and they thought they'd be like some kind of terrorist attack or something because it's just people lying all over the floor with, um, you know, bloodied wounds and people chalking up their, chalking up their scores. So that's just, a, I, that's just a, a thing that I think we ought to be aware of as a society that this subculture exists and maybe it's a small thing that not everybody's doing but the fact that we can have young kids turning um, violence into a game like that is just says something about where we're up to now and they've always said there's no correlation between video games and violence how silly we are to think that <laughs>